in Esther 8 verse 9, we find out that seven is the third month in the Lord's calendar. But in Exodus 19 verse 1 and 2, we see that on the first day of the third month, after the Israelites left Egypt, on that very day, they came to the desert of Sinai. Verse 2, after they set out from Rephidim, they entered the desert of Sinai, and Israel kept there in the desert in front of the mountain. We have to imagine that. They were in the desert, and then now the mountain is, is right in front of them. But I'm going to say something extraordinary to you. The month of Sivan is the month when the church of God truly began on earth. The Lord God Almighty has chosen for himself a nation, a people that we are now part of. Because when you become a Christian, you become like Christ, you are Abraham's seed. So my brothers and sisters, we are entering a time of great significance. Not only for the people of Israel, but for the Gentiles as well. On Mount Sinai, God descended to meet his people and make them his treasured possession. This time also is when the Torah, the word of God, was given to mankind. As you know, the Torah is the law of God as revealed to Moses. So, let's go now to Exodus 19, verse 3 to 6. Then Moses went up to God, and the Lord called to him from the mountain and said, This is what you are to say to the descendants of Jacob, and what you are to tell them. The people of Israel, you yourselves have seen what I did to Egypt and how I carried you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. To myself. Let's stop over here. You see, God is not bragging. He said, you see what I did. How I, I strike them with plagues. And you you are totally safe and protected. How I totally destroyed the Egyptians, the army of Pharaoh, pursuing you in the, in the Red Sea. And verse 5, Now if you obey me fully and keep my covenant, then a root of all nations, you will be my treasured possession. Although the whole of his mind, you will be for me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. We must stop there and meditate on that. So, the Lord prescription for us as Christian is for us to obey him totally. Hallelujah. You cannot say this part of the gospel, I'm okay with this one. <laughs> and we must keep his covenant. A covenant, what is it? It's a contract between God and man. 
saying unto you, you do this and I will do that. And what he said he will do is blessing, blessing. <laughs> and we love blessing. And he said something extraordinary. Out of all nations. You imagine. You imagine. That alone should cause us Christian to have a little bounce in our step. Say, I am God treasure. Who are you talking to? <laughs> but he reminds you not to be, you have to be careful, okay? The whole of his mind. <laughs> the whole of his mind. But he will make us a kingdom of priests. That means priests will come out of us. And it's time for men, Christian. You must know that you are a priest. I was talking to somebody and I said, whoa, 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 whoa. You are a Christian. You cannot talk like that. You are a priest. Amen, amen, amen. You cannot talk like that. You are a priest. You are a holy nation. You cannot go out there and act the same way that they are acting. You must, hallelujah, have a posture. A holy posture. A priest. Hallelujah. My God, my God. And the Lord told me. When you become my treasure, you are unto me a valuable asset. My God, my God. A valuable asset. That means it's not something that you find on the street. <laughs> so your street life, you have to live it alone, you know. You are treasure. You know, you, you know, he will put you in a safe place. You know, treasure, you don't find a treasure just like that. You must be hidden in the world, not of the world. Special unto God. But the Lord said to us, there are two ways. Obey me and keep my covenant. That's mean you obey God totally. You are sold out to all his saying, revealed through his laws, commitments, statutes, decrees, precepts, and principles. And you keep the covenant by being faithful to him, no matter because he is a faithful God. But in Exodus 19, verse 9 to 11, you are going to see that today is a special Sabbath, the second day of consecration. The Lord said to Moses, I am going to come to you in a dense cloud. So that the people will hear me speaking with you and will always put their trust in you. This is what God do in this season for the priest. People will realize that you are really a priest, that you are really a prophet Moses. Amen and amen. Then Moses told the Lord what the people had said. And the Lord said to Moses, you know what the people said to Moses? Everything that the Lord said, we will do. <laughs> and then they find out very quickly, oh boy, we cannot obey those ten commandments. <laughs> Go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow. That's when the first day of Sivan and the second day of Sivan. And today, Amen and amen is the second day, May 27, 2017, is the second day of seven, 5778, day of consecration. Amen and amen. Like I said, yesterday, you know, I did a prayer and I said, God, this is the first day of consecration. I consecrate myself to you. I devote myself to you. And today, once again, I say, God, I consecrate myself to you. I devote myself to you. You know, and you have to do that every year. 
so you may be blessed throughout the rest of the year. Have them wash their clothes and be ready by the third day. Amen and amen. Consecration cleanse you spiritually, but God wants you to look good. He said, wash your clothes. <laughs> wash your clothes. <laughs> you know, in the desert, there is no water. Oh, you know, that little water you see there, wash your clothes with it. Amen and amen. So now you see them look good spiritually and look good on the outside. Amen and amen. And be ready, verse 11, oh, by the third day, because on that day, the Lord will come down on Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. So the Lord is saying unto us, get ready for your Mount Sinai experience tomorrow. And I say to a brother, hallelujah, that is just had his tragedy in his family. Or oh, on May 28, if you have done the penitent work, the Holy Spirit shall fall upon you and you will have your Mount Sinai experience. Yes, God will come down and descend into your life. And how do you prepare? It is true repentance. True repentance. But we read in verse 15, Prepare yourselves for the third day. Abstain from sexual relation. And the Lord, hallelujah, will come down into your life. Amen and amen. Exodus 19 verse 16. On the morning, and now this is the event. On the morning of the third day, there was thunder and lightning. With a thick cloud over the mountain and a very loud trumpet blast. Amen and amen. Out of nowhere, there is a very loud trumpet blast. Everyone in the camp trembled. They said, whoa, that's angels. That's angels. Hallelujah. Probably the seven angels with the seven trumpets just blast that thing up. <laughs> and then people, people are like, whoa, where that come from? Angels. And God come down. Man. Oh, 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 the Almighty God, come down. Then Moses led the people out of the camp to meet with God. This is the first meeting of the church. And God presiding over the meeting. Over the meeting. This is what you, we are doing when every Sabbath you see us and you have a priest presiding. Representing God. He's not God. Representing a picture. <laughs> Don't get you twisted, uh, little priest here. <laughs> little pastor here, you know. And, and God in attendance. In attendance. This is why I say to people, you know, you if this is a spiritual experience in the Sabbath. And know that in your heart, God is here. Then Moses led the people out of the camp to meet with God. And they stood at the foot of the mountain. Mount Sinai was covered with smoke. Because the Lord descended on it in fire. My God, my, what an event. What an event. That only can shake you and, and get you to tremble. They tremble, but... You, you could see also the fear in them. The smoke billowed up from it like smoke from a furnace. Hallelujah. I remember I had an experience when I was sitting down practically in meditation and I see, and I see smoke. I said, where did that smoke come from? And that was the presence of the Lord. And I thought 
talk to the smoke and I hear practically somebody talking to me back. You know, the experience of becoming a prophet can be seriously intimidating. And you say, oh boy, I don't want any another experience like that. <laughs> but in order for you to enter revelation, you have to accept. When you go beyond the fear, hallelujah, now, you know when you know, and you know that God exists. And they said, the smoke billowed up for me, like smoke from a furnace, and the whole mountain trembled violently. That means earthquake. My God. Yes, this is a mighty God. We, we are serving people. This, this event reminds us another event. Pentecost. When the Holy Spirit descended on earth. Descended on earth. And we read on Act 2, verse 2 and 3. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind. The same way <laughs> came from heaven and filled the whole house. It's like God said, I'm going to tear up that little house. <laughs> Where they were sitting and they saw what seems to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. Let me give you the picture of that because the Lord gave me the picture of that. He said, Patrick, imagine I descended in a way that, you know, people will remember. It's like I split the house and descended. The violent wind. And then suddenly fire <laughs> going like that. It's like when it's raining and you got those uh, thunderbolt or something. It's like fire. And fire is hitting people. I said, "Whoa, oh, I can't see that. <laughs> and I was imagining that. I said, whoa, oh, that was impressive. Amen and amen. So let's conclude with this one. The Holy Spirit is about to descend on your life. Catch the waves of the Holy Spirit. Pentecost is near and at hand. Mount Sinai was covered with smoke. Exodus 19.18 Because the Lord descended on it in fire. A sound like the blowing of a violent wind was heard by the saint. Like in the days of old, tongues of fire shall be separated and distributed. Are you ready to get your tongue of fire because there is one with your name on it. I say this thing in Jesus' name. Amen.